Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a very strange uh, new concept that was actually invented in the 30s. Uh, let me tell you the story. You yes. know, who creates money? We do all think it's uh, central banks, but actually we do create our own euros. So the central banks are there to uh, provide a stock of money. Yes. But then through what we call the credit multiplier, we create ourselves our own money. We put money on savings account. The money would be uh, lent to a third party that would in turn use the money to pay somebody, that would in turn you know, put the money on another, at another bank. And so we create a, a money flow. And in the 30s, during the Big Depression, I tell you the story because it's, yes. it's extremely interesting. In the 30s, during the big US Depression, uh, and I know quite well the story because my grandmother was American. Uh, she was born in, in, uh, in 1911. Uh, what happened is that some people thought that the banks had contributed to the crisis and to the boom and then the burst. Yes. So their idea was to say the central bank should recapture the money creation, the money supply, and should take it away from commercial banks. So actually the money flow would be transformed into a money stock only provided by central banks. And so today we have this idea of the e-euro, the digital euro, and a, there was a paper you know, issued by a central bank a few days ago, state, asking you know, opinions about the project. But if it would happen, it, me, it means that the central bank would create an e-euro that somehow could even be different from the euro we are using today. There could be even two euros in parallel. So would uncouple the physical Uncouple. fiat Physi money created by exactly. central banks with a, with a digital equivalent. The fiat money would be made by central banks and the money flow would be taken away from the banks to be put again in the hands of the central bank. And so that would allow the central bank to decide which kind of projects would be funded by banks. And in the transition, the climate transition, the, uh, the energy transition, uh, you, the, the central bank could decide to underwrite you know, specific bonds that would be deemed to support the transition, to support the climate change and all these things. So it would be a new concept with a new currency within the same eurozone.